I'm Electric. Brain Smash! And welcome finally <laughs> to Inhuman. The official trailer. I don't know what to expect going in. She has no idea what to expect. I know that Black Bolt's actor seems like he is competent. Um, I know he was on the AMC show Hell on Wheels, and that went for a good, decent run. Never saw an episode, but it looked cool in general. And I think, I know, there's nothing, I've heard, seen nothing besides costume about anything wrong with him. So I know that there's been a lot of hoopla. There's been a lot of hoopla. There's been a lot of hoopla about the costumes. In any TV show, there's, you know, you have to kind of adapt it to their budget and everything, so I'm not too mad about the costumes. I know that Medusa's hair should be wilder, and I'm hoping that they'll have the CGI on there, because I, I saw that there's a giant fucking dog, <laughs> which is awesome. But uh, yeah, I, I t I've been waiting to watch this. There's some really good actors in there, so yeah. I know nothing. Yes. Like I said, I was brought up on DC. I know nothing about Marvel except what he tells me and what the hell is in that book that y'all got me. Oh, Game of Thrones actors in. I mean, who, when isn't the Game of Thrones actors? Sooner or later, the humans are going to find us up here. On the moon? You should have known this day was coming. What? He doesn't talk, by the way. Really? Black Bolt doesn't talk. Are we supposed to follow our king and remain as silent as he is? Yeah, it is. We need to go to Earth now. We've been hiding here too long. Let's go. Oh, go right Ramsey. Uh -huh. If we were on Earth, we would have a glorious planet to live on. Thrive on. You're talking about betraying your brother. You're talking about treason. You're blind to his intentions. Right or wrong, he's dangerous. What I'm talking about is freedom. Freedom for all inhumans. Are you going to use your voice to kill your only brother? Stop it! Whoa. What the? <laughs> Lockjaw. We will not let anyone or anything stop us. We will create our destiny. Nothing can keep us from being free. Let's see how powerful it is. Wow. It's a pop. That's lockjaw. That's Lockjaw? He communicates telepathically through his little symbol. Okay, so backstory. Black Bolt, his voice is so powerful he can destroy cities with his voice. So, as you saw in the trailer, just him going, ugh, just... <laughs> so, you can imagine if he actually like was using it on purpose, you can just... <laughs> so, in the comics, he... And to communicate telepathically, and they do little thought bubbles for him talking. And um, Medusa, she just has, you know, her hair. She uses that as a weapon. It's the I, red hair one, right? Yeah. Okay. And I know uh, the character that, I forgot his name, but the character who, Ramsey Bolton, which I don't, his character, his actor name escapes me again because it's not a usual, it's an unusual name to say the least. But that escapes me, but he is really, um, he knows that he's competent in technology, and as you know, basically it came from this came from his point of view, because that's the interesting thing. Because I don't because Black Bolt is the leader, but it's going to be interesting forming a show around somebody who doesn't talk. So I'm curious. That's about what that's what I'm interested in too, because it looks like there's already an interesting dynamic. You just he can't really say anything unless he like writes it down or like. It's gotten to the point where he gives a look and people understand what he says. Right. So, I wonder if they're going to have like Agent Steel crossovers since they're both on a ABC. Um, because that's the thing about television. That television should be more connected than the movies. You know, they're part of the same universe, but 
if, you know, if you're going to have both you know, TV shows. Mm -hmm. Besides, you know, it seems like it's three separate universes in itself almost. Even though they're all connected, it feels like the movies, ABC, and Netflix are all, they're connected. But So I'm curious to see what about that. And then, oh, I'm just curious about a lot of things. I hope it all works out. They cross over the Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. After the Defenders, they get some, like, maybe some Age of S.H.I.E.L.D. Like, searching New York for, who are these Defenders you've been hearing about? You know, stuff like that. I want to see more of that. So I'm hoping that Inhumans can give us that because, you know, obviously, I don't know what the hell this moon stuff is about because that's new to me. I haven't read too many Inhumans com comics, but um, obviously Inhumans are on Earth, too. That's Agents of Shields been building for two, two, but, was it four seasons? So mm -hmm. Two seasons now they've been building Inhuman story. So I'm... Well, because they ended it with S.W.O.R.D. and they're on the moon. Right, right. They're, they're in space. So that should connect. So that's what I'm curious about. Um, there's just a lot of things that I want to know and what connected, obviously, but that was awesome. That was, that was great. I think for me, it's just coming in not knowing anything. It looks interesting. I like kind of the premise because I, I, I got to think like that actor accepting the roles like, by the way, you don't speak. It's a challenge to just vocalize, you know, what a character's thinking, what it's anticipating, what it's saying without actually using voice. It's very interesting to me, so I'm excited to see what that would be about, and just to get to know more of the characters and their storyline and how they fit into this Marvel universe. Well, I'm like, I was excited to see uh, this actor, I forget his name. I'm on blank with actor names right now. Ramsey? No, no, not Ramsey. The guy who plays Black, Black Bolt. I think that he was, he looked intimidating, just looking, just a look, which obviously that had to be your number one casting. Like, if we're going to cast somebody who doesn't talk, you're going to want him to look intimidating when he's not talking. Um, but yeah, that was awesome. I'm ready I'm ready for that. I'm ready to go see it in the theater, if possible. If we do see it in the theater, because we, we, we live in a place where it's highly possible, um, then we would, if we did reaction to eating humans, because they said in the theater it'll be the only the first three episodes. Right, so the, fir the last five we can definitely react to here. But those first three, if we have the opportunity... We would we, definitely go see that. And probably do a review episode of as we watch through. So yes. you guys at least get there something. There will not be three reactions because we can't do that. So there will be three re reviews or a whole big one review depending on what we're feeling, how much information we think we can get out. What exactly. If it deserves a full... We'll, we'll, we'll tell you if a full ups, if one episode deserves a full review or if the three can just go for one big like this is what we thought and i'm assuming that they're going to kind of have like a mini arc kind of set up in those three episodes yeah it's more it about because usually the beginning is just get to know the characters right you know? and i'm sure it's that's what it's going to just be a whole kind of like almost like a mini arc because if you're going to go see something in the theater you want it to kind of wrap up but still be open to what we're going to be going through mm -hmm. so it's kind of like we're going to have a story going to wrap up a little bit and then we'll go on to what else is coming going on in that universe but yeah so that was the humans, finally. Looks awesome. We'll see you guys in the next one.